The word of God in Psalm 75 verse 10 says, All the horns of the wicked also will I cut off. My God, it says, All the horns of the wicked will I cut off. Yet, child of God, whatever it is that the enemies have been fighting against you with, the things that they have been using to afflict you, the things that they have been using to bring you sorrow and pains, dear child of God. The Lord is saying to you today, I'm going to cut every of those things off them in the mighty name of Jesus. The things that they have used to bring miseries and pains to you, dear child of God, the means at which they had used to bring pains to your life and to your health, God is going to deal with every of those things in the mighty name of Jesus. Everything they have been using to bring you down, everything that they have been using to bring pains and sorrow upon your life, everything that they have used to inflict pains upon your life, dear child of God, today, God is going to cut it off in the mighty name of Jesus. He knows what they are using today to afflict you. And he's saying to you today, I'm going to make sure they will not be able to use it ever again in the mighty name of Jesus. He said, I would early destroy all the wicked of the land. He says that I may cut off all the wicked doers. Yes, God is saying, I'm going to cut them off. They have planned evil against you night and day. They have set systems to bring you down night and day. They did everything to make you to sorrow. They did everything to cause you to be in misery, dear child of God. You have been asking yourself, when will it come to an end? Yes, they did you much evil, but today, whatever they are doing will not succeed anymore. The means at which they had brought pains to your family. You see, they fought your home to the point that your home had broken apart. They fought your marriage until the point that there was a separation, dear child of God. They fought your family until everything was torn apart. Today, God is going to make sure he will cut them off. And everything they did to bring these pains to your life and to your family, they made you an enemy to your children. Dear child of God, they brought enmity in your home because they went about gossiping, because they went about fabricating lies that you did not do, the things you did not do. Dear child of God, they said you did so as to break your home, so as to tear everything apart. Today, God will cut them off in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, you knew that you were set for a promotion and then they brought some things. Yes, they dug some things out from your past and used it against you today. And that was the reason at which you were denied what you deserve. They fought against you. Yes, you know that you were genuine, dear child of God. Your repentance was genuine. You went to God with your clear heart, knowing that you wanted to turn a new leaf, and then you did. But yet, they came. They fought you. They fought against you with the things you had done wrong. God is saying to you, I would make sure. I take every one of them off you. Yes, the things that they did against you, they will never be able to do it again to anyone, and you shall be vindicated. In the mighty name of Jesus, God is going to make sure, yes, He's sitting on the throne of His judgment today and He will judge every one of them. If what they did was okay, dear child of God, they will begin to experience it themselves as well. In the mighty name of Jesus, they said their mischief shall return upon their head and their violent dealing shall come upon them. Dear child of God, every of their mischievous ways that they have been using to fight against you. Today, it will come to an end. And everything they deserve will return back. It would return back. He said his mischief, according to Psalm 7 verse 16, shall return back upon his own head. Dear child of God, you know everything that they have done. Some they did in secret. And some they did openly. They came confronting you. They told you to your face. That you will suffer. They told you to your face that as long as they are there, you will be in pain. They told you to your face that as long as they are still there, you will not have your life easy. But today, God has heard your prayer. You handed them over to God. You told God to see between you and them if you had done any wrong. Yes, you have asked God even, why are they fighting you? Why did they choose 
to be an enemy to you because you were making progress, dear child of God. Because your ideas were always welcomed, dear child of God. Because the things you were saying always made sense. And so they became very, very mean against you. Because it seems like you were making progress. All you did was to have a promotion. And that was the wrong you did. All you did was to do your assignment very well, dear child of God. And that was the wrong you did. All you did was to make sure you rendered help to the people that needed help. And they were very bitter about it. They felt that you were going to outshine them, dear child of God. And they began to fight against you. Today, every of their mischief would return back to their head. And every of the violent dealings, yes, the things that they deserve, they have been violent against you. You know how much they had fought against you. Everything would change. Everything would turn around for the best for you. And what they deserve, they will get. In Jesus' mighty name. The word of God in Psalms 28 verse 4 says, Give them according to their deeds and according to the wickedness of their endeavors. He says, give them. After the work of their hands, he says, render to them, dear child of God, according to what they deserve, it will be rendered back unto them in the mighty name of Jesus. God knows that you have been weak. God knows that you have been tired. God knows that you cannot fight again. You have done everything. Yes, but it seems like the war of affliction keeps on increasing. The Lord is saying to you today, endure, endure. That I'm bringing the enlightenment to you. I'm bringing the understanding to you that everything is working for your good. They may have thought they are fighting against you, but they are preparing the way for you. They may have thought that they wanted to bring you down, but they are setting you up. They may have thought they are gathering people to destroy you. You see, Amen thought everything he was doing was going to destroy Mordecai. But what happened? At the end of the day, he was setting up himself to be destroyed. And he was preparing Mordecai to inherit everything that he had. But you see, from the initial time, he did not look like that. He was preparing the Galo, dear child of God. He did everything. He invested his own monies. He built the Galo. And you see what happened? He was the one that met his end in that very Galo he had prepared. To destroy Mordecai. Dear child of God, they may have been doing everything, putting a lot in it. They may have been making a lot of investment to destroy you. But you see, they are paying their ways to their own destruction because the Lord who said is going to fight for you, because the Lord who said is going to make everything work for your good, is going to arise for you. And everything will turn around for good for you and for your family. In the mighty name of Jesus. You see, Mordecai did not have the monies to build those gallows. And Amon did that by himself and met his very own end there. Trust God because he's going to give to them according to his word. He said he will give to them according to their deeds. Psalms 28 verse 4. According to the wickedness of their endeavors, he said he's going to render unto them. They have been hard against you. They have been mischievous against you. The child of God, they afflicted you. They made you to be in pains night and day. They made you to sorrow. They made you to cry. They made you to ask God, why? Why am I going through all of this? Yeah, you have been asking God, is it because of the good things that I have done? Why am I suffering? Dear child of God, you will not ask the questions anymore because God is going to change everything and is going to give you that victory that you deserve. You're going to testify of the goodness of God and how God vindicated you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You see the word of God in 2 Samuel 3 verse 39 says, The Lord shall reward the doer of evil according to his wickedness. And that time has come that they would get according to what they deserve everything that they have done against you in the mighty name of Jesus. And this is how God is going to raise you up this is how God is going to bring you to your place of rest. This is how God is going to bring you to your place of settlement. And you will say indeed, Yahweh reigns. You will say indeed, those wickedness have come to an end. You will say indeed, I've gotten my life back. You will say indeed, God has vindicated me. So shall be your testimony. 
and all the things that they deserve, their reward for their wickedness, they will get in Jesus' mighty name. Get set, for you will testify of how the Lord vindicated you and brought you victories in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. It is well with you, beloved. God bless you and shalom.